Hey everybody, it's Matt Kufal here with JTEC. Um, we're going to talk about wheel alignment. Uh, when we do this, it's going to be... When you talk about wheel alignment, it's going to be the front tires. And I'll go into a little bit more in a second, but you'll have things you'll be talking about. I'll be talking about is uh, camber, toe in, toe out, and caster. And I'll go into a little bit of detail with those in a second, but there's some basic fundamentals about stuff you need to know. So like wheel alignments, uh, sometimes it's called tracking, all right? And it's the position of the tires relative to the vehicle. So, and you know, stuff like that, it gives pre uh, predictable and a straight line directional stability. So basically what I'm talking about is when you're going down the road, you want your tires straight, okay? Because once they start, you start getting the wheels facing the wrong direction, you could be having your steering wheel straight, but if your wheels are going a different direction, you're gonna go the direction of your steering wheels, all right? Um, and then stuff like that, it, it's the ability to correctly turn while minimizing tire wear. So if you are, if your tires aren't aligned, they're gonna wear and stuff like that, it's gonna cause damage to your tires and potentially cause you to have a crash. Uh, and it's gonna correct alignment will improve vehicle handling characteristics, all right? So without uh, correct wheel alignment, the stuff that can happen, you can, you can consume more fuel because you're constantly, the, you're not getting the correct alignment, which is gonna cause you to consume more fuel. Tire wear. Tire wear is going to be a big one because it's going to be rubbing weird. And the t you know we all know roads aren't smooth, flat surfaces. They're rough. So if you got a tire that's off, it's going to be wearing that one tire. And you know you're, you're going to experience directional instability. Uh, your suspension can start going out. That's another one. Um, and a big one, especially with truckers, you know, on long hauls driver fatigue because if you constantly happen to correct the tire now your arms are going to start getting tired okay so that's something that's going to be that's going to happen um so stuff we can do camber so camber is a side to side uh, vertical tilt of the wheel so what it is is camber is like this it's the top of the tires is how you want to look at it okay so if you have positive the top of the tires are wide if you have negative they're in so uh, and what that will cause is if the top if this is a your drive tire and it's positive then the inside so the correction the outside of your tire the will start to wear if it's negative and I'm doing being very drastic the inside of the tire will start to wear all right um, if it's uh, let's see here. If it's caster, caster, you always think about um, fishing, and what it is is the tires are leaning forward. Now with caster, you got positive caster, negative caster. If you have caster, you cannot adjust it because now you have an issue with your actual um, uh, the front axle got to replace it it's just that all right then you got what's called toe in toe out now toe in uh toe in the wheels are closer together at the front so toe in kind of like your toes you put your toes in front of your toes are in toe out okay and they're they're white so you know toe out toe in all right it's on the front um so in, and that measures how much the front t front wheels are turned in or out from a straight line, straight ahead position. All right, so I'm going to show you a few pieces on the car and everything with the kingpin and um, the drive axle and the stuff on the correction, the steering axle and stuff like that. But that is a rough, roughly what you know, toe in, toe out, uh, caster positive and negative and camber positive and negative and reasons um, why you don't want it so I'm going to show you a quick you know a few quick things and we'll see what we can do all right so a couple things here right here you have your tie rod here's your tie rod ends right here okay and on top I know that's real bad you got what's called a castle nut all right there's your steering arm right there right in the here what you call is the kingpin which is the actual um, 
pin that runs through it, your steering axle, and there's your steering arm, which is right in here, okay? So that's all the pieces into it. So when we talked about a few things, so one of the things was caster. This is bent. Your axle, axle is bent. You can't do nothing with it. So camber, correction, toe, here, you take your tie rod and you can actually adjust it here and lengthen it. And what it will do is it will actually bring, um, to help make the alignment right, okay? Now, when it comes to, uh, so we talked about caster, so toe camber, it has to do with So, like I said, with camber, it's going to have to be here in the actual steering knuckle. All right? With the kingpin itself, it's probably bent. Um, the shims are out, so it's not allowing it to line up right. So you're going to have to change that out. All right? And then, like I said, with toe in, toe out, you can do just about everything with the tie rod. All right? Um, those are the few things it's going to have to fix to get those best... Um, to go on if you ever hear somebody say that they can actually fix your caster by bending the axle don't because if there's any cracks anywhere in that axle and it fails then you're liable to a lawsuit so let me know if there's any questions and concerns and we'll see what we can do to get it fixed have a nice day